How's it going everyone? So today here I'm gonna look at another uh, product by Putt Out Golf called the Pressure Putt Trainer. Uh, it's basically like a little training ramp uh, designed to help you get the perfect putt based on speed, pace, line. Um, it's got a return to you. That'll tell you if you actually made the putt or, or not based on how far it rolls back to you. Um, it's got some other like multiple targets. It says you can use an alignment stick, but we'll get to that in a minute. One of my favorite things about this, and if you recall, uh, not too long ago I did a review about the Devil Ball by Putt Out. Well, Putt Out actually makes some pretty good training aids and the simple purpose of, you can bring them to the golf course with you. Here's the Devil Balls right in my golf bag. And the putt out here is no different. Nice compact design that folds down. Again, just slide right in the golf bag. So this is it. So it folds out. Here you have your target. This would be basically the cup. You can aim at this point, you know, several different spots on here. This hole, however, see it's got a little, little back part, will punch in. If the ball rolls up the ramp and sits in this, it's considered a perfect pace. If you leave it out and this ball rolls up to you and back down to you, that's considered a perfect pace as well. It's got a hole here for an alignment stick, which uh, not a bad idea. You know what I mean? Alignment stick, you know, fits right in there. However, I do have one problem with it, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, let's show you some of these features. Hit a few putts with this. Um, we'll see it's got a nice little grip on the, on the bottom so you can bring this out on the golf course with you it's not going to move uh, but today we're just going to use my putting mat in, indoors so let's hit a few putts with it and I'll tell you the uh, one little issue I have with the alignment stick so all right guys so you can see how easy this is you know, it just folds up with the pads on the back fits down nice it's not going to move on you doesn't slide uh, so that is actually pretty cool uh, so you're going to have, this is basically your hole is one target. Your target's actually uh, this for a perfect pace. You know, you could use this as a target, or I guess a little higher. Uh, but the object here of just practicing, do this little short putt, is just to get it to roll to this button and roll right back down to you. It's a, it's a kind of an automatic ball return. So, and if you really wanted to challenge yourself, and I, I actually tried this at the PGA show, it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, just pop this little thing out, and uh, let's see if I can put one in there. That'll say it's the perfect pace for your putt if it stops in that hole. It helps if you don't have a floor that leans and you can hit straight putts, but uh, yeah, not, not that easy. I mean, you can see this is rolling right up to it and it's just not staying. So it means I'm hitting it a little too hard. And there you go. That's considered a perfect pace. So my issue now with the alignment rod, even though it slides in here really easy, is it, there's no instructions to whether, say, if you need to have it balance like this, but you can see there's a lot of wiggle room. This is an alignment rod I have from Skills, SKLZ, and it's pretty much the standard. The only thing I can think that this is supposed to do is you pull it all the way through and lay it on the ground. So it would have somewhat of an incline. However, that limits that like you can't go too far back with your putt because then you're, you're underneath it. But it's, it's, I guess it's good for these little short ones. You know, you can just, I mean, you can use it shorter. I guess you can go a little, little bit further back, but you really kind of run out of room if you wanted to practice some longer putts. But I mean, it, it's really cool. I like it. I'll be right back with my conclusions.
So all right guys, so in conclusion, you can see from those last couple putts I just hit, it's not that easy to get it to stick in the uh, the micro hole. Uh, however, I mean, like I said, my floor leans a little bit, not using it as an excuse, but uh, this was just for reference to show you. I do like that it's a big target. Now I do know these come in different colors as well. You know, it's a blue, orange, whatever your favorite color is, I'm sure they have it. It's a really good training aid. I probably should try it with the devil ball, which I'll, I'll do that as a challenge another day. But one of the main things I really love about this, like I said earlier, it folds down, fits in your golf bag, you can bring it anywhere with you, out to the putting green. If you're traveling, uh, throw it in a suitcase, have it in a hotel room. The versatility of golf training aids has become so great so we can always work on our game, no matter where we are, what we're doing. It, it just it goes to show you all the things that putt out has done is for that um, now my issue with the alignment stick it, it may work the way i last showed you where it, one part lays on the ground but there's no clear cut instructions from putt out on that they probably should have a little booklet in there i know some of the other products do have little booklets but that's just a minor thing or at least if it's supposed to be for bigger um, alignment rods, they should say what size actually fits in the hole. But uh, that's a minor thing. You don't need an alignment rod. You can draw chalk on the, on the ground, um, which a lot of places have that uh, erasable chalk now. You can just draw it out on the line, ground and then wipe it away when you're done. Or you get a putting mat like I have from Skills that has lines on it. There's a lot of ways you can utilize alignment with this training aid without actually having to use an alignment rod. But that's just one minor thing. Other than that, it's a great product. Put out actually has a lot of other good products. I just did the Devil Ball. I'm gonna check out some of the other stuff. I'm one of the biggest believers in short game. Everything from 100 yards and in and putting can really save you. Um, so that's my conclusion. I uh, hope you liked it. Give the uh, put out trainer a, a chance and see what you think.